Hey, welcome back to the workshop. So, in one of my other videos, I was talking about the uh, convertible top hydraulics. So now we're looking at the switch. So here's the original switch. Um, it seemed like it was burned. Uh, this terminal came off when I gave it a little wiggle, and it's like it's like sticking and it's rusty and I don't know. I can't really seem to find them. Uh, and I happen to find a vendor that sells universal convertible top switches, which basically look like this. It's just a, a single pole, uh, double throw, which means, and this is a momentary switch. So basically the motor grounds against the car and it has two leads. So you send power to one lead, it pumps one way. You send power to the other lead, it pumps the other way. It's pretty simple. Uh, and the, you know, this original switch has three terminals. So I got one of these and we've got the original uh, like mounting plate. So this mounts up under the dash. I modified it a little bit. This half circle wasn't there. That's so I can fit the, fit the switch through it like that. And then I made this little plate uh, just to kind of shim it in place so the switch has a flat surface to sit on instead of it is falling into that, um, that opening right there. And it's just a standard switch. It comes with the switch, uh, the nuts that hold it in, and that little on-off plate, which I don't really need because it's going to be up underneath. Here, I'll, sh I'll show you. Okay, so here we are in the car. Right here is the original plug for the convertible top. And you can see that looks like it melted. Um, they kind of, this is for the power antenna. So they kind of like, they keyed the switches so you can't mix them up. See, that's got two slots. This one's only got the one slot or the uh, one slot in the middle. And then I'm guessing that was a slot here, but that plastic doesn't look right. And the fact that the switch was a little iffy makes me think that the motor might have shorted out. I don't think there's a short in the wiring because I I plugged this. So this is the that middle orange wire. That's the hot lead. Um, and I connected this lead to both leads and I was getting power in the back. So I don't think there's a short anywhere in the line. I'm going to check the line when I uh, take the carpet up. Um, Last thing I want to do is burn out a new motor. Um, but basically, these are like dealer installed. or not dealer installed, like factory installed. So if you have a convertible, you know, they'd add this. They'd probably remove a blank out plate and add this. And the switch just comes in through the top. So what I would do is put my switch in like that. Put my accessory plate on. And that actually doesn't look too bad. I'm probably gonna do the antenna too, just so they match. The antenna switch is the same thing. It's kind of like, it's rough and it's sticky. Um, it's like rusty. I might be able to fix it up, but you know, I think it would look cool with both of them as like the toggle switch. It kind of fits in, right? It's got the, the chrome metal. And then uh, obviously, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut the original harness or the original connector and put spade terminals on and just wired into there. But I think it's a good plan. I think it'll work. So we'll see. It's all coming together though. More to come later. Take care.